Hi, I'm Tom Alston. Aero Marine Tax Professionals is one of my companies and 10X Excellence is the other one of my companies. Aero Marine Tax Professionals is the leading company in the state of California that provides people with exemptions from use tax or sales tax on airplanes, vessels, and certain vehicles. 10X Excellence is a company where I provide business training, business consulting, coaching, mentoring, access to Grant Cardone. I'm a Grant Cardone licensee. So that's for business expansion. And it's hard for me not to talk about both at the same time because my, a lot of my frame of references are in the aviation and vessel industry. But uh, let's get started on today's tips. If you're having any problems with financials, financials in your life right now, and most of us are, if you're not having any problems, I congratulate you on having a big enough nest egg to not feel any of the effects at this lockdown and coronavirus situation. Four things that you must do. First of all, define what does fear mean to you? To some people, it means not enough, dot, 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 ellipse. Uh, to some people, it's being homeless. To some people, it's being embarrassed. That's my key fear. I don't like being embarrassed. So just define it and write it all down. Number one, what does fear mean to you? Okay. Then reel out, <clears throat> write down, what are your risks and in any area that, that you have your attention on? Find them and write them down. Third thing is, what are you worth an hour? Have you ever thought of that? How, much, how often are you giving things away for free, especially early in your company, because you're trying to find prospects? It's not like, I'm not trying to tell you, I don't do that. I'm just telling you, what are you worth an hour? And set that in your mind, okay? And it helps. It helps you establish just the way that you feel about yourself. And then lastly, the fourth thing is understand the game that you're playing. It's, uh, it's really important. When you, when I used, a lot of you know that I come from a heavy, heavy background of coaching baseball. If you're coaching a group of seven or eight year olds and they've watched baseball on TV and they know their dad likes it, and they, they, they've, they've decided that I want a glove and I want to go out and play and I want to swing the bat. But what they don't know is which direction is the right direction to run when they hit the ball? How do I hit the ball? How do I throw strikes? How do I play short stuff? There's a lots of things that they don't know about. And the way that you teach them is you put them in the game and you give them some experience while, you know, controlling what they're doing to the degree that they understand the correct thing to do when a correct thing, when an incorrect thing happens. And it, it's really, really fairly simple, but we forget to apply that to ourselves. And it's important that you never stop playing. It's the, uh, the, the thing that kills more businesses is when people just give up. They stop doing it. And if you go back and look at the why of it, it isn't always just about money. It might be about, I didn't work hard enough. I didn't produce enough results. And money is just the statistic. That's how you keep it going. And in, in future videos, I'll talk to you about how to solve that. So the four things are, what does fear mean to you? The second thing is, what are your risks? The third thing is, what are you worth an hour? And this is really important to you that you should establish this. And fourth is understand the game. If it has rules, understand how to, how to make them work to your advantage. And I'm not talking about doing things unethically or illegally because I'm in the business of doing something legally all the time. That's a very, very important uh, yardstick for me. So you decide what you're worth. But that's today's tips. Thanks for listening.